battles. We are in Manchester for Apex 3. If you're with us in the building, make some noise! Yeah. We're about to get into the second battle of the day. This is what I've been looking forward to for a long time. And honestly, I'm surprised this has never, ever happened before. Mm. Bloodstorm messaged me, he was like, why are we doing this? And I was like, I don't know. It's just happened, should it? We're talking shit. On the right hand side from Leeds, former Premier Battles champion, Manchester. I want a warm welcome for Matt And on the left hand side from Manchester, please make some noise for Boast on Boast yeah! It's a three round battle. Balski won the flip and decided to start round one, so it's round one no, of you, my bro. Let's go. It. I pointed to him. Oh, to my, Matt's round one. Just <laughs> <laughs> can't get service, can you? Amateur. <laughs> Boski, you are a legend. Derrily shit derivative bastard. <laughs> At this point, people watching are like, oh shit, we're in for a classic. But you've lost some weight, haven't you? The difference is drastic. You shifted it rapid. What, you've been hitting some classes, nibbling salads? Good on you, mate. You had a vision and smashed it. <laughs> Your skin must be sagging. <laughs> He's bringing some baggage. I'm talking excess skin. Word, you word. I got a few home truths. He's looking like a half deflated sumo suit. Yo, he can use his excess skin like a symbiote, fling it like venom, or just use it as a skipping rope. <laughs> If he gets knackered out and about, he can lean back and have a wee nap on his own personal bean bag. <laughs> I can hear a voice shouting loud from within. There's still a fat guy trapped in there, but he's drowning in skin. <laughs> <laughs> you need a snack, little guy? <laughs> Go ahead, take it. Uh, <laughs> I knew he couldn't resist the temptation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chill out, Skinderella. <laughs> when you shake your arms while rapping, it's like a wind propeller. <laughs> Spreading the deadly stink of cheddar. <laughs> that skin will stretch you like Iniesta, but wait, wait. I am happy you managed to shake and dispatch of the weight. And you're deaf old Judah, congrats on the praise, but come on. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> you're still fat in the face. <laughs> and you're still a fucking unit. A solid wedge of mass with a pencil tash and a goatee that says, all right, ladies, these are set to shine. <laughs> <laughs> that goatee doesn't play by the rules and doesn't beg pardons. That goatee is a phasing device to make the transition between your chest and face less jarring. <laughs> No, 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 wait. I gotta dumb it down, because I know you're proper dim. What I'm saying is that goatee's the only way we know you've got a chin. <laughs> <laughs> but losing all that weight, aren't you worried on a reel? You'll lose like 98% of your comedy appeal. <laughs> a skinny bowski. Fuck that. No one asked for it. That'd be like a fat matter. <laughs> but you know who supported Bosky through every last hurdle? More than anyone in his whole fan circle. Big up to Bosky's motherfucking man girdle. <laughs> <laughs> that guy puts in more graft than anybody on the scene. Definite performance of the night nominee. If that thing snaps, Briggsy will be the first of four. Bloodstroll gets hurled head first through the furthest wall. Curving <laughs> pull. Excess skin everywhere. Don't step in the puddle. Titties swinging like adventurous couples. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he's flooding the spot, looking like a fleshy volcano with a gormless cunt at the top. <laughs> <laughs>
hate this specky four eyes nerdy Yorkshire bastard. <laughs> Not because he's a weird looking gormless spacker with an awkward man who was munching the top of the morning after three different blokes had shagged around the back of the cloak and dagger. No. <laughs> Not because he's an awful rapper with a morse for the swagger and a face so deformed and bad it makes us all just want to stare at him and roll with laughter. <laughs> no. Not because he's a boring wanker with the teeth of a mauling badger who speaks like a northern crap with a pale complexion so compelling looks like a walking cadaver. <laughs> no. Not even that. The reason I hate this fucking twat and he's looking baffled is because in 2011 you voted against me when you judged the battle. <laughs> He said, something, he said something stupid like, I kind of feel like once you see one balky bottle, you see them all. Well, Jesus G, look who's talking. Ten years later, you're still fucking boring. <laughs> and what really amuses me, going back and seeing just how shit Matt was when he teamed with Luna C. Because <laughs> he was absolute dog shite. Luna had quotable hot lines like, your most vagina cavity is like Wonderland. Every week she fuck about a hundred man. I was fisting that bitch the other day and I swear someone shook my hand. <laughs> that was fire. But what was your quote from the Clash Matter? Your great line of expression? I give your mum a driving lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! The goose stick was my arrest. Shut up, you fucking wet. <laughs> Didn't them two or twos, you was Maka Packer, innit? How can you win a class 3 0 and still be the wackest rapper in it? <laughs> and all they'll say, this shit's 10 years ago, bro, it's petty, let it go, but I'm like, no, the pettiness will never stop. I'm so petty, the man them call me petty what? <laughs> My good eye on you for time, because an elephant will never forget. An elephant. Oh, I've had my good eye on you for time, because an elephant will never forget. I'm so petty, there's hardly any petty left. <laughs> I've hated Matt since before his petty theft, because you stole that PB belt. I don't know what happened. Briggs, he got a title for beating a drunken O'Shea. Well, who the fuck hasn't? <laughs> You was a placeholder serene in till you now came in and weighed him in. No one wants to see a champ's arm raised to sin. Prince Charles will be dead before he's made the king. I'll be waiting to rearrange his chin for ten years because he's a blatant gimp. Be wanting to make him bleed through the nose since eleven like Stranger Things. Ooh. See, you was hated long before battle writing swooped in. As a child, he was a right little nuisance. In school, he was small and awkward in classes. His teacher said, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" He said, "A bold, ugly bastard." <laughs> See, Matt Foles was reminiscing. Bullied at school to develop humour as a coping mechanism, but against someone funny, he's still a hopeless little victim. The type of gimp at my school whose shoes I would have pissed in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's not healthy to hold grudges, mate. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, this battle should have happened years ago, yeah? What a prestigious honour. I mean, yeah, this battle could have happened years ago, but you were shit, and I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, you're still shit today, but I got bills to pay, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> so it's Bosto, baby. Started at Lancashire Variety Fair and my career kept climbing from there. <laughs> I'm fat and I rap and I dance like a twat. And that is me art. <laughs> hey, I'm better than you. I don't like these intellectual dudes. Watch me battles with the autoplay press the blue and Mrs. Brown's boys is next in the queue. <laughs> you are the fucking Benny Dorm of battle rats. <laughs> You're the Wigan Pier. <laughs> You're the place where shit ideas refuse to disappear. <laughs> Look, so don't try doing the Bowski spin on me, bro. You got a spin on deck, I'll spin you back the other way like a reload. There'll be a 10 second delay before them droopy swingers settle in place. Did I remember to say you have a wedge of a face and aggressively heterosexual traits? <laughs> <laughs> but you True. know what Bowski perpetually hates? Sends him apoplectic with rage. Cancel culture. Oh, I've set him off. Better get out the way. Yeah. Oh, cancel culture. He finds it condescending. He wants to call a puff a puff without consequences. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it. Just like his dad, his granddad, and so on, extending. What a legend. Holding his spot, protecting the rights of those whose rights are not in question. Mm. But you know what he really hates? Female reboots. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's kicking off. We should do a female reboot of this battle just to piss him off. <laughs> hey, oh, it's 
PC gone mad. I don't like this radical climate. In my day, we do a hate crime, get some chips, and no one buy an eyelid. <laughs> <laughs> It's all, these, it's all these bloody snowflakes, isn't it? Bloody, bloody broke back mountain. He hopes they cancel. He hopes they cancel his favourite shows just so he can moan about it. But don't, yeah. worry, but don't worry, Boski. No one's taking your telly shows or any of your favourite episodes. So find something else to moan about. Try non-traditional gender roles. Hey, hey, hey! Extra work, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this old fucker is shit. You're lying. I actually thought that old female Ghostbusters was pretty sick, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so the first round was a history lesson. But we've both come a long way. So let's be in the moment, ma. Let's live for the day. Because here we are finally, face to face, chin to chins. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up eyes to fucked up eyes. But hey, at least mine aren't magnified. <laughs> all jokes aside, let's have it right. We're both animals in disguise. Both like made our name from savaging guys. Ten years deep in this battling life, we both belong on this stage rapping tonight. But that's where the comparisons die. Cause you're weak, I'm not. You won't even hear the shot. After this, you'll have a direct line to speak to God. Cause how the fuck is an owl ever gonna beat a dog? Yeah! yeah. Cause you say you can't teach an old dog new tricks when you definitely can't teach a wise old owl shit. <laughs> that is clear. Cause look everyone, Matt's here. Same shit hat, nerdy glasses and ratty beard. <laughs> Jesus Christ mate, why don't you switch it up a bit and find a vibe? You know they say variety is the spice of life, you just look like all your life you've been on the spice. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, with that hat and glasses on you look like one of them internet whiskies with the mind of a mogul. Takes his hat and glasses off, childish and noble. <laughs> I can't believe he was made of chap bricks. How could this average dosser hold the fort when somehow he looks like both Harry Potter and Voldemort? <laughs> <laughs> this whack rapper's a bold prick. Is it me or does it look like Black Adder and Baldrick? Yeah. <laughs> it does actually, that's fucking true, right? Yeah. <laughs> Black Adder and Baldrick. Yo, know, some people say he looks like a mangy owl, but I think he looks more like a ferret tenfold. How can he look like Danger Mouse and Brother Penfold? <laughs> <laughs> this man's broken. Someone gave some milk now. It looks like Hans Molman had sex with Millhouse. Oh. See, I'm known for being a funny fat fucker and singing in clashes. You're known for being a specky for as nerdy little spastic. But all right, let's talk about views. Because how have you got a million for rapping when you look like a fucking minion with glasses? <laughs> Your career's forever stop and start. You got the voice and swag of someone who auditioned for Emmerdale but never got the bar. <laughs> See, this is 2011. This ain't 2011, this is 21. Times change and so did the levels done. This is a big fish in a small pond versus a fucking megalodon. Ooh. You've got an annoying voice and minimal cadence. Plus, you look like you've been struggling for years with physical ailments. You look like for years you've been living in cages and you spent most of your life living on minimum wages. And after this battle, my career projection, Zambuka. You know I'm gonna get my shot clear. Ooh. You went for being champ to battle in Bostock. Oh dear. <laughs> you look trapped, G. Lost in the headlights like some sort of old deer. Only my second battle in BB and I'm already top tier. Yeah. And I fucking deserve it. Cause everyone knows by now that Bo's one of the dopest of rappers. Plus there's more swag in one Bosky spin than the entire catalogue of matter. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Yeah. Just then you were worrying me, mate. I was genuinely worried for the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I said R.I.P. to every sofa you've ever owned. <laughs> Gone too soon, you're in a better home. <laughs> he can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you can finally rest your bones. Not to mention what he used to do when he'd been drinking and taking coke, you sick bastard. <laughs> How's a sofa supposed to give consent? <laughs> <laughs> he thought he made it all right because he'd give it head. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pervert. <laughs> you make me want to puke, mate. Say a prayer for anyone who dug through the cushions for some loose change. <laughs> What it's come to though, 
battling Bolski, telling sofa fucking jokes. <laughs> Buzzing, yo. <laughs> Another low. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm down at your level, might as well give your mum a go. <laughs> your mum pisses a stream so solid they used it for the last smack event. <laughs> <laughs> when she gets a fanny test, she breaks out in a clammy sweat because she's created a haven for crabs to nest. When she passes Greg's, the smell of pasties gets her panties wet. You're happy, yeah? <laughs> I'm speaking your language, yes? She's a frequent recipient of random guests. No, no. <laughs> I need to dumb it down again so we can understand it best. What I'm saying is, she's a massive skirt. <laughs> no, wait, no, I don't want to have a go at your mum. She's been through a lot of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> When she sees a dick, she gets to fizzing like a bath bomb. <laughs> when she's on a period, she uses a dick as a tampon. <laughs> she knows what dick pairs best with a bottle of white. She absentmindedly chews a dick while pondering life. Plus, she smokes ayahuasca. Her pubes are bleached blonde like a 90s hacker. <laughs> She'll get to piffing on some crack, then she'll lyrically attack. You know, in O2, she body dizzy in a clash and she didn't even rap. <laughs> All right, I can justify these jokes about your sloppy mum by saying I'm mimicking your style, how it's proper dumb. But just between you and me, I've had a lot of fun. <laughs>
Do you remember? <laughs> back when you had hair? <laughs> I don't think you remember back there. <laughs> Cause man has been bald forever. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Bald as fuck. You've been bald forever. Bald as fuck. You've been bald forever. Bald as fuck. Man has been bald forever.